Hello everyone. This video would focus on the definition and real life examples of direct variation. Before we go further, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to direct variation. We remember that by definition, direct variation is a type of proportionality wherein one quantity directly varies with respect to a change in another quantity. To better understand this, let's look at variable A and variable B. For a direct variation, if variable A increases, variable B will also increase. Now please notice the direction of the arrow. Both of them are increasing. On the other hand, if variable A decreases, then variable B would also decrease. Again, please notice the direction of the arrow. Both of them are going down. Again, please notice that for a direct variation, both variables have to increase or both variables have to decrease. So whenever we see this type of relationship where both variables increase or decrease, we can go ahead and say that A varies directly as B, or we can also state this as A varies proportionally as B, or A is directly proportional to B. Now let's take a look at some real life examples of direct variation. Okay, the number of hours you work and the amount on your paycheck are directly proportional to each other, which means that if you work more hours, then it means that you get more money. On the other hand, if you work less hour, then it means that you get less on your paycheck. So again, the number of hours you work is directly proportional to the amount of your paycheck. Now let's take another example. The amount of weight on a spring and the distance the spring will stretch are directly proportional to each other, which means that if you put more weight on a spring, the spring will stretch at a longer distance. And on the other hand, if you put less weight on the spring, then the spring will stretch at a shorter distance. And so we can go ahead and say that the weight on the spring is directly proportional to the distance the spring will stretch. Now let's take another example. The speed of a car and the distance traveled in a certain amount of time are directly proportional to each other, which means that if a car travels faster, then it can travel more distance. It can cover more distance at a given certain time. On the other hand, if a car travels slower speed, then it can cover less distance. This tells us that the speed of a car is directly proportional to the distance it traveled at a certain amount of time. What could be some other examples of direct variation that you can think of? Please feel free to comment your answers down below. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.